Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Podcast for Tuesday, November 10th, 2015. So today, I believe, is Edmund Fitzgerald Day. Um, the day that the Edmund Fitzgerald sank. So, you know, that always gets some press here in Michigan. Um, there's this place up north called Whitefish Point. We've been there. We actually, it, it's, it's kind of funny because it's this little, it's a little lighthouse. It used to be a lighthouse area and it, they turned it into a little, they got a shipwreck museum um, there. So it's really kind of a, a tourist attraction kind of place. But they've taken the, the old um, lighthouse master's house, I believe it was, and turned it into a bed and breakfast. And so we spent a weekend there. And that was fun. It's a little strange because, you know, at night it's kind of like, hey, you're in this, you know, basically like a, a park <laughs> overnight. It's like the setting for every, uh, you know, a really good horror movie probably. You know, the ghosts of shipwrecked, <laughs> shipwrecks past come and haunt you at night or something. But it did not. It was very, very nice. Very nice indeed. And you're right off the water there up north uh so yeah that was uh, that, that that's kind of a cool place so uh, i and i uh, thinking of that because gordon lightfoot who of course wrote the song about the edmund fitzgerald he was up there yesterday um i guess he goes up there every year meeting with some of the the families of those who died on the ship so yeah if you hear that song on the radio today you'll know why You know, I've been kind of watching this whole Starbucks co- Starbucks cup controversy. Um, with a certain amount of chagrin. So, you know, there's there's a controversy and there's there's air quotes because uh, I don't think it's really a controversy. In fact, I liked somebody's comment that was talking about, who was saying he thought the whole thing was really just, you know, some trolls decided to make some waves and it's kind of, kind of uh, blown up a bit. But, you know, so Starbucks every year has a Christmas cup, Christmas themed cup. Um, and it's usually got a red background and it'll have, you know, winter scenes or snowmen or snowflakes or what have you. You know, there's never been any depiction of, I think that should be depiction. Hmm. Way to go, writer guy. There's never been any depiction on any of the religious aspects of Christmas. You know, there's never been a nativity or or anything like that that I've ever seen. Um, You know, they stay with the normal generic corporate Christmas, which is fine. Well, this year they decided to go with simplicity. So it's just a pure red Santa red cup with, you know, the logo on one side and that's it. And, and, you know, so somebody complained that they were, you know, ruining the spirit of Christmas or, you know, they were leeching the meaning of Christmas or they were ignoring Christmas or they were somehow trampling upon the beauty of Christmas by proffering this plain red cup. You know, and it's stupid. And you saw the troll, the, the, the troll theory really holds as much water as anything. But what I, I hate about it is whomever, whichever group, and, you know, and it's, it's not like you can point it to a specific person. You know, they can't say that, you know, Joe Blow started this thing. No. All they know is, is that, or at least all I've heard, is that, you know, some Christian or some Christian group has had a fit about it. And so everything you see is the Christians have an issue with this cup. You know, and that's annoying for a number of reasons, you know. 
you know, first of all, um, you know, it makes no sense for Christians to be angry about the cup because it's, it, there's never been a religious depiction on these cups. If they made, if Starbucks made a habit that every year they showed a different nativity scene on the cup, then at least you could say, "Man, I miss this year's, you know, nativity scene." But they don't. You know, to my knowledge, they never have. Um, and, and that's fine because I like snowmen and snowflakes and you know, the images of snow-covered trees. I, I, I got no brains. It's a freaking cup. I got no problem with it, but I, I dislike it because we, you know, that, so now it's the way people talk about it online. It's all Christians everywhere are incensed about this cup, and that's not the case. You know, I'm a Christian. I don't, I don't care about. I've drank coffee out of the red cup already. I don't care. They're going to put a heat sleeve on it anyway. It's going to cover up half the cup. Who really cares? You know, there's several Christians that I am friends with on, on Facebook that have said, I don't care. No, no Christians I know of care. You know, and so it's just ridiculous. And, and, and I get tired of the stereotype. You know, if I was to go on... If I was to go on, you know, Facebook or Twitter and, you know, based off of something stupid that Kanye West did, say, which, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to fish very far to find something stupid that Kanye West did, and they make a post about how the blacks think this, I would get derided for dealing in racial stereotypes. You know, we're taught that stereotypes are bad. You know, we're not supposed to use stereotypes. But yet, at every conceivable opportunity, especially against religious groups, stereotypes are used. You know, and I'm as guilty as anybody else. I, I fight against them. You know, as much as anybody else does. But I don't truly believe that every Muslim is a suicide bomber. That every Muslim is looking for an airplane to hijack and drive into a building. I don't think that every woman thinks that men are, are dirt. That men are holding them down. You know, I, I don't think that every man wants to control his woman. You know, the stereotypes are just, you know, they're stupid and yet they're not. You know, the reason that stereotypes exist is because at one point in history... Enough people did did whatever the behavior was that it, it became a recognized thing. Or at least it became a perceived thing. The perception was this group does X. Um, you know, and, and that's you know, and that's that's fine when you're talking about the group as a whole, I suppose, to a certain extent. You know, but it doesn't necessarily apply. You know, I love blueberry pie. That's my favorite kind of pie. You can't take a stereotype that says all keys love blueberry pie. All keys, their favorite is blueberry pie. Because I'm sure there's keys out there, deluded and misguided though they may be, that don't like blueberry pie. And that's fine. That means there's more pie for me. But... So yeah, I, I get I get tired of what people, you know, one person does something stupid, and they and they um, apply it to the whole group. There's another Facebook page I see get followed by people who are are not. I don't know that they're not Christians, but maybe they're not religious or they're not into the more traditional Christian um, agendas. But they'll, they'll share this one site, and I forget... 
it's like Michelle, somebody, the occupying Christian, or you know, some it's some it's some Facebook page that somebody set up, and it is full of some of the most stupid drivel I have ever seen in my life. But because she's got the word Christian in her page title, and I don't even know it's a her. Um, you know, whatever you know, BS she posts on there. You know, you know, typically it's the liberals that are kind of, kind of you know, incensed by this. So they'll have something on there, you know, like Hillary is spreading sexually transmitted diseases. I made that up. I don't know. That wasn't on there. I, I can't think of what, what there is. And they'll post this and go, see, see, this is what the Christians are doing, and. First of all, you know, reading that, I'm convinced that is a troll site, that that page is just by somebody who's just trying to stir things up because the things that are posted on there are just so freaking stupid. I can't believe that anybody would actually think that and take it seriously. It's just ridiculous. But it's stuff that's meant to inflame certain aspects of society, and it works. You know, and then and then you get these people on Facebook. See, the Christians think that Hillary has VD. You know, and uh, it's just silly. It's just silly. And you know, I'm just using the Christians thing as an example because that's kind of what has been flowing across my stream. But you know, yeah, any time where you're 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 just ranting against a group based upon their name. You can do the same thing about Republicans and Democrats. You know, uh, you can do the same thing about, you know, pro-lifers and pro-choicers. I mean, you can get out of hand where you're just, you know, you, you're just assuming that everybody in that group thinks the same way. And that's just not true. That's just not true. It's convenient if you want to make an inflammatory post or an inflammatory comment or you want to feel self-righteous about the horror of the Christians battling poor little Starbucks in their cup, you know, then yeah, it's, it's convenient to, to do posts about how the off-base the Christians are. But the reality is, is that Probably most Christians don't really care. <laughs> so there. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Anyway, I think that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.